Hello, welcome to another Gun About Operation 2 video. That is the, uh, <laughs> that is the act guy painted like the, uh, the, uh, I, I assume is the owner of the Sneed's Feed and Seed, formerly known as Chuck's. And if you don't know what that is, the stupid little Simpsons joke, background gag, uh, that, <laughs> I forgot what fucking episode, but, uh, Homer's there, there's a building, it's called Sneed's Feed and Seed, formerly known as Chuck's. And if, uh, you assume that words that are similar to seed and feed rhyme with uh, Chuck. Uh, that's the joke, that's it. <laughs> but a lot of people on on uh, websites like 4chan, they, they took it and, and it's basically like, yeah, fuck this, do something else, post anything else besides this thread, you know? Um, but yeah, decided to paint the hat guy like the Sneed. Uh, I think it's Sneed, might be Chuck, but, uh, <laughs> and yeah, you know what, uh, this is a 450 match, and we're using the At Guy, and you know what, 400 At Guy has absolute stealth, so I'm already on C, uh, the enemy team does not know that I am here, even the Zoc, the Zoc has anti-stealth, but, uh, again, the At Guy has absolute stealth, so whatever the Zoc removes, I'm still gonna be able to, uh, sneak up on him. Well, you know, he's going to notice I'm right here, so let's bonk him on the face. And look, the enemy Mudderock knows that we're here, too, so let's uh, dance around these folks real fast. You know, bitch slap the back of the Zoc. Uh, <laughs> ooh, avoided a uh, hit there. And, uh, okay, that Mudderock wanted to go for uh, a swing. Let's uh, tell him no. Zoc did a... a uh, what the fuck are you doing, Mudderock? <laughs> yeah, get fucking down swing for that. Down swung. The Zoc uh, did his tackle, so I'm just going to follow up on him pretty easily there. Uh, finish off the Zoc. Now we have the Mudrock, but uh, it seems like the rest of the enemy team has uh, noticed that the their supports are dying. So, uh, hey, we're going to finish off the Zogok that our enemy team was fighting uh, with their Vulcans. And now the Mudrock, he just has to deal with me now and, and our team coming in. You got Mick, not Mick, James and the, uh, the Zogok E. And, uh, oh, man, barely missed my downswing, but... Yeah, we're just going to finish off this guy, slap him in the back of the head, tell him to have a nice day, and <laughs> try and shoot next. I wasn't expecting a downswing, and now I'm down on the ground. Uh, but yeah, James is also a raid, uh, so we're doubling up on raids on this map. And yeah, I just survived all of that bullshit in <laughs> that guy. Uh, I, I did my job perfectly of uh, distracting the enemy team. Uh, coincidentally, they had two supports, so I distracted both the supports, which is really good for this kind of map, because uh, where they're at right now, or where they were at, <laughs> was a C, and if you capture C, you pretty much have some good sniping points if you're a support, uh, but hey, somebody's down here, I believe it's a Zogok, so let's jump in on him, and unfortunately I forgot I can't melee in the air, so uh, I was planning on bonking him, but no, we're just going to end up doing a nice uh, side side fucking downswing, it's like he, he, wasn't, he didn't perceive that I was there, and all of a sudden just a big fucking fist comes in and punches him. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I am going to get finished off by the Barzam, and yeah, that wasn't a bad first life at all. You can definitely see that the ad guy still has some uses, even though this is 450, and I'm definitely doing a, a little bit of tomfoolery here with the ad guy. Uh, it, it still has its uses for that uh, that stealth alone. Uh, although, I, I do wish this thing had the aquatic mobile shooting for uh, its weapons that, like, I wish it wasn't just primary weapons, that aquatic mobile shooting effects, because I really wish that, guys, uh, it's missile launcher and it's uh, instant stun beam attack that I can do, it has a standstill to use, and I wish you could boost while using that, that would actually make the ad guy really terrifying to deal with, because it can boost towards you with stun accumulation if you're, like, a shock damper suit like the Zoc I was fighting earlier, or, uh, you know, if you're a regular suit, so you get stunned and you get bonked by the ad guy, and uh, that thing has a dodge roll, has maneuver armor, a lot of useful things. Uh, and of course, it's got these Vulcans, nice follow up damage. Uh, and I believe it has another weapon. I may be mistaking. Uh, well, I guess fists, if you count fists. But yeah, we're going to bonk that Mudrock. He's too busy focusing on uh, James. Ooh, nice dodge roll to avoid the Zogog. We're going to finish him off, I believe. Yep, there we go. Another finish off with the uh, the Vulcans. Poor Zogog just keeps getting uh, side <laughs> sidewind by the. Uh, the fucking hat guy. Oh, man, Zoc did not like that I went for a melee on him, so he's going to punch me down on the fucking ground. And it looks like he's going to charge up some uh, beam weapons, so uh, let's see if we can try and get around him. Try and get an accumulation stun off. Uh, not going to do it too reliably with the uh, Vulcans, but you know what? The Zoc misses melee. He's going to miss it again, so let's go ahead and get some free damage off. And I believe James comes up again. 
Uh, yeah, here he comes. I'm gonna get a good, uh, get a good, nice bonk on the uh, the Zagok. Let James deal with that. And here comes uh, Nexus in his uh, suit. Gonna break the ankles of the Zogok real fast while trying to avoid Nexus. Uh, but he really wants me dead, so he's gonna get his bitch slaps off on me. And uh, yeah, I got nothing else to do besides just re retaliate with my own little uh, slap on the face. Uh, but yeah, so it was an okay life there. Uh, Again, doing my job as a, a nice distraction role uh, in the course whenever the Mudrock was attacking James, I came in, took advantage with my stealth, uh, and you know what? We actually don't have that bad of a team set up either. We have two uh, two high gogs, Gingery being one of them, and then uh, Taru is sniping with the uh, the Hyzak custom. We got James in another raid with the, uh, the Zagok E, which is an excellent raid if you know how to play it, and... Um, I believe we had uh, an Aqua GM as well, which that could be a pretty good uh, general. In fact, it is a really good general. Uh, the Aqua GM and the Aqua Gundam, holy fuck, those things can still do some work, you know? Uh, I say still, they're a, they're a plight at the... Uh, or plague, even, at uh, 350 and 300, because they're just that damn good. Uh, they had to nerf the, <laughs> the Aqua Gundam, and it's still decent, you know? Not even decent, just still good. Uh, but yeah, let's see what else we can do with that guy. We're on the front lines here. It looks like uh, the general's going to be sitting back and taking pot shots. Actually, no, the Aqua Gems there. That's good. Uh, so while they're slowly approaching, I'm just taking a lot of hits. Okay, so now that the, the generals are pushed up a little bit, let's go ahead and attack uh, the Mudrock. Well, he ended up dying anyway, so let's go after the Zok. Then. <laughs> we got, we're got trading out one support for another. This one's amphibious, though, so i got to be careful. Okay, well, he's just holding that charge, so don't mind me. Hey, backflip just a stunt on you real fast. <laughs> do a nice little stunt. Uh, kill him with the Vulcans. I really didn't have to do that backflip, and I think I accidentally did that backflip <laughs> anyway. But, hey, look cool, you know. And let's see, get some extra damage off. I believe that's uh, King in the uh, Desert Gelgoog, but, you know, he's going to have his invulnerability while trying to shoot at him. Oh, there goes James. Let's see if we can uh, throw off some melee. Zogok's going to get uh, clashed with a hey, nice little melee downswing. There we go. Punch the Zogok down again. And then bonk the, uh, the mud rock once more. I love bonking people. Just fucking funny over the little hill here. And do some damage. A little bit of damage to the uh, the Zog. I'm not going to be lasting too much. It's a 3v1 against an ag guy. But you know what? It is the last 30 seconds of the match. And you know what? We're winning pretty hard right now. So I don't mind distracting three people. Uh, oh man. Tackle to death. Oh, man, there goes uh, Mr. Sneed. <laughs> He's going to become feed for the uh, the fishes in the water there. All right, let's see. And, yeah, the match is pretty much over. Our team is sitting back. Uh, I'm going to be – as soon as I spawn in, it's pretty much over. And, man, we didn't even capture D at all. D would have helped out a lot if I went and captured that and maybe come out uh, – come around behind the enemy. But at that point, they know I'm an at guy, so I probably – they probably would have been checking – after the first time, or they'll be like, hey, where's the at guy at? Uh, but yeah, time out, and we'll see what we got going on here. Good work from me to everybody. Mission completed, and let's see what Mr. Sneed got. Uh, not on the board at all. James did uh, infinitely better than I did, but I'm going to praise some people, and hey, sixth place, six and three, and honestly, that <laughs> that's uh, about as... Actually, actually, no, it's better than I thought I was going to do. I thought I was going to do just absolute uh, dog shit, but no, uh, did really well. Uh, you know, at least half of uh, all the people there. Uh, and you know what? Looking at the score there, I actually got first in MS kills. And uh, looking at the damage and the, the skills there, I got third in individual score. But somehow I got sixth, and I'm looking at the person I'm rivaled with who got third place. But it seems like he got more pursuit assist and uh, a little bit more diversions. I guess that counted more for him, which is unfortunate because uh, it seemed like I was doing pretty well there. But yeah, that's the uh, the at guy 400 in the military port uh, map. Almost said military port base. It's just so easy. It rolls off the tongue, you know. Military port base. Uh, they should just called it naval base or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, type up in the comment section what you feel about the at guy. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I like the at guy. Um, it's weird looking. 
<laughs> uh, and I, I like some of the uh, interesting paint schemes people come up with. You know, I've seen the uh, the aliens from Toy Story. I've seen uh, Mario and Luigi, uh, courtesy of Flail Throughs. And, uh, well, I think that was a guess for you for him. But, um, and I guess I can add my own paint scheme here. The uh, <laughs> Sneed's Feed and Seed, formerly known as Chuck's. Uh, but yeah, the at guy itself, um, at lower cost, I believe it's still a good suit to pick. Uh, you know, like 250 and all that. Uh, even though he, he, there's some suits that are a little bit better, like the the Augie guy. Uh, but you know, the stealth is pretty nice. And then at 400, uh, it's a little bit tough to play. Uh, you do get absolute stealth, and that does come in handy. And it actually has come in handy in this match, especially at the beginning there. But uh, there are some suits that can uh, definitely stop you in your tracks. You know, heavy stagger suits like the uh, the Zuda F. Uh, I think there's one more I'm trying to think about, but yeah, it, it, its problems start to start to arise, and you know, having to stand still to do some of your attacks does hurt it, especially at 400, where a lot of suits will just dump on it, uh, damage wise, at least the generals. Uh, but you know, if you know how to use that stealth, you can properly get in and do some damage and, uh, you know, get some nice wins, you know, like here. And yeah, that's going to be it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.